Hi guys, so I figured, I mentioned I was gonna do a vlog and this vlog is gonna be a little bit about a, everything. I'm hoping not to drag on so I don't get, you know, too lost in one subject. But I do have my Grays box here, so I'm gonna go ahead and nibble. I'm actually starving. It's dinner time and I haven't made any dinner. I'm hungry, I know they're waiting for me. Um, so we're gonna do a little log and nibble on some snacks. So I'll just show you quickly about what's in my Grays box. We've got things falling out, the cinnamon pretzels. We have these, I think it's um, pepper. Ooh, Mississippi barbecue pistachios, yum. We have some smoky chipotle with rosemary breadsticks. That seems interesting to try. And then the one that fell out is sour cream and onion cashews. Oh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. That sounds like it might not be too good. So I'm gonna try for the sweet one first. I'll just try some of these cinnamon pretzels. So I figured I'd chit chat a little bit about, um, hmm. that's like, that's weird. Pretzels, but it tastes like, it's got um, nuts in there too. So it's got those, um, Nuts that you get like at Disney World, they have those, um, I don't know what they call them. Well, they come in like the little cone. I think you can get them at the carnival too. Those are good. Anyway, so I was gonna mention some review, review stuff that I've gotten that I really, really enjoyed. Um, the first one is this ERA um, Organics or E Raw Organics. I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to say this. Anyway, this is supposed to be for people that have eczema. Um, it doesn't really have a scent. And normally you would think that creams with for eczema would be extremely thick and goopy and I don't know what you wanna say. This is, it's, it's thick, but it's thin at the same time. So when you put it onto your skin, it just melts away so easily and it's not heavy on the skin, but my gosh, does it do a job on dry skin. This stuff is awesome. My son has eczema. He kind of refuses to use it, but I'm, I'm gonna talk him into it. I'm gonna make him use it once or twice or three times and he'll hopefully wanna start using it because he's got really, really, it's not all over, it's just patchy. Um, dry areas that when I see him because he only walks around in boxer shorts so it's obvious you see it all over I just want to go like this and just rub him down to <laughs> make him use it but whatever so this stuff was really really good I think I paid mm, I don't even know less than a dollar I'll go ahead and put all these things down below I have like little Amazon links um, so I think everything I have purchased everything on Amazon so I'll go ahead and put the links down below for everything so another thing that I got recently are these tattoos. I have another sheet of them in my bathroom of ones that I'm currently using. I'm not sure how I feel about all of these crazy ones, but in general, they're pretty cool. I have, I mentioned this yesterday in a video. Look, I still have that cream there. Um, so this is one that I put on yesterday. I just think they're cool. You know, you don't have to put on any jewelry and it looks like you're wearing jewelry. So I think that's pretty cool. It's um, pretty inexpensive. I think I got all the sheets. There was like four or five, four sheets for like a dollar through the review sites. Um, so they're a lot of fun to use. Um, the little strip that I had left over, I put on Allison just for fun. There's no school right now, so we'll take it off before she has to go back to school. Um, I also have some stuff from new, new stuff from the store that I wanted to show you as well. So I figured this is a good time to go ahead and kind of talk about it and show you those things too. Um, the next thing, which is so freaking cool, these are like uh, like the Google Cardboard, but this one is called the D <laughs> D Scope. This one is called the D Scope, but it's just like the Google Cardboard, and it's got like um, inside here when you assemble this thing. It's got these little, I don't know, like little magnifying glass thingies that you just stick your phone in there. Where's my phone? I don't even think I have, oh, here it is. So you just kind of throw your phone in here, you close it up, and then you can go into whatever program or app that there is, and you kind of put these things on. Um, and it's just the coolest thing. I'm telling you, it is so cool. I wish that this little thing worked. 
um, from for my son's phone because you're supposed to be able there's a certain app where you can kind of look around and choose like YouTube and then choose different channels and you're supposed to be able to use this so that when you look at something you click this and it chooses that it just didn't work for us I don't know if we don't have the right kind of phone or if it wasn't positioned correctly but um, that was really cool um, it's like when you can go in a car and you're driving, you feel like you're actually in the car. You can turn around and see the back seats. You can look all the way around. You're on a roller coaster. You can look all over the place and it feels like you're right there. So cool. Super, super cool. If you ever have the chance to do a review on something like this or just pick it up, super, super cool. The only thing I wish that they would change, you see here, this has everybody's forehead oils all over it. Um, I had this for my son's little birthday and all his little friends were using it. They thought it was really, really neat. So I liked that a lot. Um, next I've been using chia seeds a lot. You can have, um, take like two tablespoons of chia seeds and put it in some almond milk. Um, that alone doesn't taste the best. Um, but this is like, um, what do you want to say? Like a superfood kind of a thing. It has, for one tablespoon, I believe it is, oh, I have it on my phone because I wanted to talk about it. Uh, let's see here, go to my pictures. Here we go. Okay, so for one tablespoon of chia seeds, it's got um, three grams of protein and it also has five grams of fiber, which, so you take double it take two tablespoons, you put it with some almond milk. I add a little bit of vanilla extract and a little bit of like a maple syrup kind of a thing, but it doesn't have all the sugar of maple syrup. Um, and I use that as like a snack throughout the day. Like maybe after lunch, I'll have that. And it's, it's a weird looking consistency. Let me tell you, it looks strange. It looks like frog eggs and liquid, but it's not that bad. You take it and you learn how much, um, liquid to put with it to get the consistency that you desire. So it's really excellent. It's a great source of just energy. Um, it's been really, really great. Um, doing the, what am I doing? The Insanity Max 30. So I'm trying to change up my diet again and um, add more healthy things into it instead of potato chips. Yeah, potato chips. Um, so this has been just something I've added to my diet. Um, this is something new. Um, my friend told me about it, so I've been checking it out and I've been really, really liking it. I'm going to be doing a review on some chia seeds coming up. So they're kind of expensive. This little tiny bag is only like a dollar something in the grocery store. Um, this is the brand here. Um, you can get about, I want to say maybe three, possibly four servings of that that mixture that i was telling you about um but the big big container is like 16 dollars for it so mm, you know okay and the other thing is cool that i've gotten for a review um there's going to be a giveaway on this coming up on my blog i'm just doing my final pictures of it and then it should be up very very soon um these are some tan tanning towels um i have not done self tanning before and so this is a first for me. Um, it comes like this. Uh, supposedly these are smaller towels than what they normally put out or what people normally put out. I don't know, but I was told that these are smaller. So you can, cause they say by the time you get to another part of your body, the towelette has dried out. Um, I can kind of see how that could be because these towels, by the time you're done with one leg, it's almost dried out. So you can use, you can do it for both legs, but um, you kind of want to use two wipes to get really decent coverage on your legs. Um, so yeah, I got me some tan legs right now. It's not too bad. Um, so there's gonna be a blog post coming up. You can go ahead and check out the blog post and see the pictures um, of before and after, what it looks like, and enter for a chance to win these too. But yeah, so this is my first experience with tanning towelettes. I've gotten so many um, in subscription boxes and blah, 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 and whatever else I've gotten them from, and I've never tried them. I've given them away and given them to people, but this is the first I've tried because I had to do a review on it. So um, I was pleasantly surprised. I do have the lotion that's coming in. Actually, I got it in the mail yesterday, um, but I haven't tried that one out yet to see how that is. 
So, and it's from the same company. Um, so hopefully it'll perform, if not the same, better. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna try next this smoky chipotle with rosemary breadsticks. My stomach is grumbling like crazy. Okay, ooh, it does, it smells like barbecue sauce. Okay, so it's just like these little breadsticks right here. I don't know. That's weird, because it's like a chutney kind of a thing, but it tastes like barbecue sauce, but the texture's a little, it's not like barbecue sauce. Good. That's really good, actually. I like that. All right. Um, okay, moving on to a couple of other things that I've really been liking that I've gotten for a review. Um, I got this through Influencer. I have a post coming up on freebeeninja.com, the beauty, beauty spot, beauty, beauty, beauty corner. Hello, where's my brain? Anyway, so I've been using this for about, hmm, about a month maybe, something like that. Just over or just under a month. This is brightening serum and a spot corrector. This surprisingly actually works. I'm shocked because a lot of times things work um, and I don't get the chance to use things consistently just because I have so many things that I do do reviews on. Um, and this is like, I've used products and they've lightened my dark spots, but my dark spots are almost gone with this stuff. Um, I've changed it up a little bit because I know I'm not going to repurchase this bad boy. It's $125. I'm not spending $125 no matter how well it works. I'm sorry, I just can't. $125 for this thing? I can't, there's no way. So I've decided to change it up because I've noticed that it's lightening up all of my face versus you know just taking my dark spots away. It's lightening that up too, but it's lightening up all of my face. So I've changed it up and I started just using this only on my dark spots. So let's see what's gonna happen there. I just started doing that recently. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. Hello, that was so dumb. So I would use so much and put it all over my face. I've noticed um, under my eyes have been really, really good. Um, and I don't know if it's this in combination with some other things or this had a big part of it because it's not, that's not the intent is to take wrinkles away. The intent is to brighten your face. So maybe this is not that, but I, can, I know my face is definitely brighter and healthier looking. So that's a good one. Um, the other thing I've been loving that I've gotten for a review, this is from Billion Dollar Brows. This is an eyebrow pencil. Um, it came with a concealer and a highlighter. This pencil here is just a twist up one, uh, one and it's got a spoolie on the other end right here. Um, I don't really use a spoolie because I have like an eyebrow comb and brush that I use. I like the brush part of it. it I just prefer it. You know, I know a lot of people like these better. Um, I just don't. Um, so this is really good. It cut, you know, it's easy to use to fill in my brows um, and I've been using it every single day. I really, really like this a lot. Um, it doesn't come off too, too dark or too thick. It's just a right amount and you can just lightly use it to kind of look like you have the fine hairs. That's what I'm trying to say. So this has been really, really nice. Um, I think it comes in a kit. The kit is like around 30 something dollars. I've seen it at Ulta, not Ulta, Kohl's. Um, so you can get, it comes with this, the highlighter and concealer. It's like a big thick pencil, a brush, and the gel that you use to comb your brows to set them or to hold them in place. The gel is okay. Um, it does its job, but I wish it was stronger, but it's good. So that's another thing. So let's see what else I got here. Um, a couple new things that I got at the drugstore. So today I picked up this Wet n Wild lipstick. This one is in three, what is that? Three O, oh, oh no, hello, can't see, it's 503C. Um, it doesn't really have a shade, oh no it does. It says, will you be with me? Aw, will you be with me? Let me grab my mirror. Ah, I'm gonna take off my lipstick and try it on, right? Why not guys? We're vlogging, we're trying on makeup, having a good old time. All right, so this, I'm not sure what, it didn't say on the package, like, is it, 
I'm mad? Is it long lasting? I think it's just whatever. I just think they're just new colors. Um, it was only 99 cents. Let's see. It feels dry already. Just touching my lips. I'm like, okay. All right, so it's a little bit lighter than I anticipated. It looks like that. I don't know, let's see. So it's like a pinky purple kind of fuchsia kind of a color. I don't know, I think I probably, it kind of makes my teeth look yellow. I don't like that. It makes my teeth look very yellow. I don't like that at all. Mm-mm. Um, I think I'll probably use a darker lip liner to go on along with it. So goodbye to this one for now because I got some other ones to try on. So the next couple of things that I picked up, I picked up from Jordana. These are the modern matte lipsticks. So I got these two colors right here. Um, they had, I think it was like six colors. This one is um, 07 and also 10. So I'm gonna try the pink one on first. Ooh, this is a bright one. It kind of sticks to the lip, kind of drags. I don't know. I was debating to get this one or the lighter one. And I was like, oh, the light one's probably gonna be too light. So I didn't want to get it. So I picked this one up. This one is a little bit kind of bold and bright. I don't know, I don't even like this one either. Boy, I did not do a good job. So those are those two colors there. They're kind of similar. I think, I don't know. It feels nice on the lip. Uh, I don't know, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to tell you how the wear time is on it, but we're just trying on colors to see what they look like. So you guys can kind of get an idea. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I can see how it's very mattifying. And for that, it's probably, mm, you see, it didn't stay. So I don't know how I feel about that color. All right, so that's this one. This one's not that bad. It's a little, they all like, I don't know what's up with that. It makes my teeth, when I'm looking in the mirror, it makes my teeth look like they're kind of yellow. I don't like that. Maybe I need to whiten my teeth. All right, so that is that one. So the new Jordana ones, hmm. I'm gonna have to try it out and see how I like it throughout the day. This is just like a first test on the colors and mm, this one's okay. I can live with this one. But the other one, that pink one, uh, I don't think I'm gonna keep that. Nor do I think I'm gonna keep the wet and wild because I don't know, I don't really like them too much. All right, the next thing that I have picked up, my lips are kind of, I need to give them a little bit of a break from rubbing them. Um, the next thing I picked up was from Rimmel London, and this is um, the Intense Color. It says it's 16 hour wear. from It's a Provoca Lip, Lips line. And this one is in the shade Make Your Move. So here's what this one looks like. It's a cute little packaging. I like the little colored hearts on the end, and the shade looks somewhat okay. Let's test it out and see. So. They had all the colors there. I got, I picked these up at Walgreens. It was six, no, five something. I forget, I forget how much it was. Five, five ninety nine or six ninety nine, and I had a dollar coupon off of that. So it just has like this little doe foot applicator. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. And they say like, when you put it on, you're not supposed to talk that. You should just keep your lips like this and let it dry, and then you can put on the gloss. So I'm gonna do that and be right back. All right, so it's. It's dry, it's sticky. I'm gonna go ahead and put on this gloss to go with it. And it's also on a doe foot applicator, which is nice. Mmm, that is very nice and it has a nice scent to it. And I think I waited long enough because it's not coming off onto here, just slightly. So, mmm. That's nice, that feels good. And supposedly this is gonna last all day long. So I like this color. All right, what else I picked up recently? I picked up this um, Milani powder blush. This is a matte blush and this is in oh, powder, oh, in romantic rose. Look at that, so pretty. I've been wearing it every single day. I wanna get all three of them because they're just 
I've only seen three and I want all three of them. Um, but I have that on. It's the end of the day. I don't know. Can you still see my blush on there? Maybe not. Maybe it's already worn off. But it's so pretty. There is that shade right there. Where can I put this? Let's see. So it's right here on the side. So pretty. I really want all of them. They're so nice. That is the Provoca lips right there. That's on my lips right now. Let's see. Is it dry? It's not completely dry yet. It's still a little tacky. Um, so I, no, it doesn't, kind of smells like that. But um, it's so pretty and I just love the color and it's matte on top of everything. I don't like to have shimmery blushes because I like to have the shimmer on the highlight area and that's it. I don't really want a shimmery blush. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. Look, nothing, nothing, nothing. That was awesome. This is good to wear for date night because you can give kisses and kisses and you don't have to worry about your lip color coming off. Just a little bit of the gloss is coming off, but no color. All right, so what else did I pick up? I ate another one of those smoky chipotle thingies. All right, these are pistachios. I renews pistachios, and these are in barbecue. Mississippi barbecue, to be exact. I'm just gonna crack it open here. How do they season these things in the shell? It's okay. I eat the whole thing, so it's. I guess it's more than okay. I like it. All right, next, I picked up the Maybelline Fit Concealer. I can't wait to try this out. I think I'm gonna try this out in the morning. I don't know if I wanna just overlook and not use my IT Cosmetics that I purchased through Ulta. Um, I've been using that IT Cosmetics under eye, bye bye under eye every single day, so I don't know. I'm gonna be kinda scared to switch over to this Maybelline Fit Me. Um, they only had 20 and 25, and I picked up the 25. So that is the thing right there and i heard that it's fantastic and you're not going to get under eye creasing or anything like that so crossing my fingers i hope that's true um, because i've been i always get creasing under the eyes except for recently i contributed to the collagen drink that i've been drinking every single day um, i think it's working from the inside out and my wrinkles are going away under my eyes I hardly ever see under eye wrinkles and I don't know if that's the bye bye under eye or that's the collagen drink, but or maybe it's a combination of the two helping out each other, but I, I swear by that collagen drink, I do. Um, and I got that for review too. I don't have it here with me, but I'll put up a picture of it. That stuff, I'm gonna purchase it on my own after when I'm done using the whole thing because I swear that that is doing amazing things for my skin, I swear. Um, next thing, I picked up the new Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Um, this is in 220. I've never tried the original formula, so I'm not sure how the other Fit Me works, um, but I did want to try this. This one is in normal to oily. Um, again, it is in number 220. I'm curious, very curious on how it's going to work, how it's going to perform on me. If it's full coverage or what have you, I'm really not sure. I have no idea. Um, so that's the color right here. So for my face, I think that's okay. My arms are darker than my face is. So that's a lot of bold, bright colors. Let's see how that lip color is. So this lip color here, that's the uh, Provoca, Provoca Lips. Right there, let's see. So it's not coming off at all. It's a little tacky and sticky, so that's pretty cool. Let's see. The other ones, those um, Wet n Wild and the matte lipsticks, those come off. But the Provocalypse, nothing. So those are the things that I've picked up in the drugstore recently, some of the review items that I've really been loving. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and try the last thing in the Gray's box, which is the sour cream and onion cashews. I think I had these before and I didn't like them, but cheers. Mm. Mm -mm. That's what those things look like. It's just weird. I like sour cream and onion chips, but having it on your cashews, it's just weird. I don't know how I feel about that. I like the flavor, but I just don't like the combination on a nut. So last thing I want to talk about is going to be 
Oh my god, I'm at 30 minutes. I guess that's it. The Insanity Max 30. Oh my gosh, people. Are you kidding me? That stuff is no joke. That is a killer workout. It is going to kick your butt. Shanti is nuts. Those people on the TV show or on that program are nuts. I don't know how they do that. Um, that is some high, high speed. The warm up is like a workout in itself. It is really, really hard, but I know it's going to be worth it. It's a 60 day program. I can't wait to go ahead and keep going with it. I missed a day or two, two days. Uh, my son's birthday and then my kids whatever things had come up and I wasn't able to fit it in so um, you know things happen but I'm gonna get right back on track and pick it up on Monday tomorrow to finish it off so those are some of the the recent things I've picked up some review items that I've been loving um, if you want to know what I what I think about some of the other review stuff um, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below and I can go ahead and give you a review on any of those things that I've gotten recently or in the past. Um, just let me know. If you want me to do um, some weekly vlogs like I was doing on the 21 Day Fix with this um, Insanity Max 30, let me know. I think I'll probably be doing that. I'm not sure. I think so. Um, this program is insane. I'm telling you, it's so crazy. But. Uh, the 21 day fix worked for me so I'm thinking that this is going to push me over and help me out so much more. So that's it you guys. Thank you so much for sitting and listening and just, you know, whatever. I wish I could say chit chatting. I guess it is chit chatting except for I'm the only one chit chatting and nobody's talking back to me. <laughs> but I'll see you again in another video. Bye.